In the purple shirt, 51-year-old Lee Pomeroy is with his teenage son on a London-bound train. Out of shot, a dispute has just started, which is to have fatal consequences. Fellow passenger Darren Pensil has turned back to continue the row with Mr Pomeroy, which was allegedly over the aisle being blocked. Second by second, it's clearly becoming more heated. It leads Mr Pomeroy to follow him into another carriage to continue the dispute. According to one witness, Pensil shouted, leave me alone and you're racist. This is thought to be the moment he phoned his girlfriend to tell her, I'm going to kill this man. A very brief clip in which we hear the argument between the two men was also recorded. Come on, put your hands on you. I dare you. I dare you. Now you speak. Well, love you, I dare you. Put your hand on you. Put your hand on you. Because you want it nasty. Now, put your hand on me. Seconds later, Lee Pomeroy would suffer 18 knife wounds in an assault lasting around 25 seconds. He was dead a little over an hour after he boarded the train. Lee Pomeroy felt that he had been slighted and insulted by a man on that train. And it was in his nature to look after his son. And that's what he did. And he did probably what many would have done. And the only thing he didn't realise was Darren Pencil was in the possession of a very large knife and a knife that he was willing to use. Walk slowly to the door with nothing in your hands. Darren Pencil fled the carnage of his own making before being arrested at his girlfriend's flat the next morning. Walk back towards by the door, mate. Walk slightly to the left. Slightly to the left, still. Officer's going to take you left. Step to the left. In court, his mother said he'd been treated for paranoid schizophrenia in his 20s. He had a fear of crowded places and public transport, she said. He didn't deny the attack, but said it was done in self-defence. That day in early January, he stabbed the IT consultant in front of his own son. Lee Pomeroy was killed the day before his birthday, one of 2019's first victims of knife crime. Julian Drucker, 5 News.